you have to have a definite purpose of what you want to be in life. You've got to take up one idea, be strong about it, believe in it, be at it 24 hours a day, constantly thinking about it, and you will get there. I come from a very poor family. Dad and mom would have struggled for every dollar to put us through uni. Every month, on the first of each month, first, second or third of each month, I would receive 35 pounds. Dad would send it. I don't know where he got that money from, but it came. And I know that was blood money. And I failed at the university, and there were a number of reasons for it. So I wrote to him, I had tears in my eyes. I said, Dad, I had let you down. I thought he would have been upset with me because he has gone through absolute abject poverty to bring me up. He said, son, keep going. The darkest night brings the brightest dawn. In 1985, I was a negative millionaire. I went through hell. I said, I've lost everything. Every human being from birth to death, have to go through sufferings. There is no alternative. But when the darkest night comes, <laughs> you say to yourself, it's going to be a bright day tomorrow. I gave a talk once and a chap came up and asked me at the end of the talk, he said, what's the best lesson? Is it your failures or your success? <laughs> you answer that. <laughs> John Howard said, I have opened many things in my lifetime as a Prime Minister. I have seen many developments and many projects, but I have never seen anything like this. Fifty-four countries competed for it, and uh, there were 30 judges. They accepted that Springfield is the best master plan community in the world in the year 2010 when it was awarded. Today we have got 23,000 residents. We've got a $3.5 billion worth of infrastructure. Springfield was bought with no money. We had no money. How do you build a city with no money? <laughs> well, it's a long story. <laughs> Read the book. <laughs>